Okay, hi guys. So I hope all are doing well, and you are enjoying the series of uh, questions in algebra and in this function series. Okay, so a lot of uh, good concepts are involved in this. Uh, basically, I've included uh, some uh, previous year mocks questions here. Okay, so functions involving uh, questions involving those functions, uh, functions with log. Okay, so mixed with log and all with uh, greatest in greatest integer functions. Okay, so all these are combined concepts and. Uh, after knowing uh, the in the concept videos about these things we can actually go on to uh, solve some good quality questions right so we are continuing this and uh, it will be used uh, um, uh, some properties of logs are used here so if you have if you don't know about log you can just go to uh, logarithms you can search in this prof uh, in this videos logarithms and algebra and you can just see those okay and then you can again come back to these questions okay so this is very very important questions and all that is previous year mocks questions right let's continue this here this question says that for any real value of a integral part of a represents the greatest integer value less than or equal to a okay that means we have read this right that is uh, gif greatest integer function if x is in between 190 to 4500 find the value of integral values of x for which log of x base 3 is an odd positive integer okay so basically the idea behind this such question is right so if you try to understand this question actually so the idea behind this question will be looking at this values right i want log of x base 3 x is an odd positive integer so once i want log of x base 3 as an odd positive integer right that means the value first of all this value should be uh, for this x it should be something uh, related with 3 power right for example what i want to say here if I like, if I put, if I, for example, if I say x equal to 81, okay, it, what is 81? Log of uh, 3 raised to 4 base 3. So this basically becomes what? This becomes what? 4, ah, uh, this actually becomes 4. 4 of log 3 base 3 is actually 4. Fine. Now, similarly, if I put x equal to 243, that is 3 raised to 5. So log of 243 base 3. Okay, this is equal to actually 5 because what is 243? 243 here is what? 243 here is 343 to 5. That means 5 would be the answer. Correct. Now, so if I if I move like this, right? If I further move like this, so I, I understand this because if I put any value before 243, for example, I have to start from 190, right? Or after 190. Okay. So let's say if I start from uh, 191. So if I put x is equal to 191, so can I say that uh, log of base uh, 191 base 3 so can i uh, guess the value actually so it is between 81 right it is between at 81 the value was exactly 4 at 243 the value is exactly 5 so at 191 it should be 4 point something so 4 point something means what its greatest integer function function will be 4 only correct right similarly so at same thing at x is 192 also this is a log of 192 base 3 what is the value again again the value is 4 point something again it is 4 only okay so th this will happen till what this will happen till 242 till 242 log of 242 base 3 is equal to actually is still 4 point something and 4 point something integral greatest integer function is still 4 basically at 243 at 243 log of 3 to 43 that is here i got the value is what 5 so from 243 onwards the value is 5 till the next power of 3 that is 729 okay so that's the idea behind such question right so once i, I if i got the idea and i can directly solve it okay let's solve it guys so basically uh what do you think it will directly count the value but we have to keep in mind that the log of x base 3 greatest integer function is also an odd positive integer okay so it is basically an odd positive integer so once i'll try to uh, put this values here once it is an odd positive integer right okay so i'll just concentrate on the powers of three right so from 191 i'll start from 191 to so basically i'm looking for values of x here actually okay the values of x here fine so values of x from 191 to 242 right basically at this 52 values if you count here 
191 to 25 to 52 values log of x base 3 will be equal to if i put any of these values here it will be 4 point something and 4 point something is always 4 so but i add I don't need to take these values though, because what I want, I want odd positive integer. This is 4 is not odd, right? So basically it is of no use for me. And I'm looking for all the odd powers of 3. So I'll start from where, right? I'll start from 243. 243 is 3 to 5 and till the next power of 3. So 3 power 6 is 729. Okay. So I'll end till 728. Okay. I'll end at 728. From 243 to 728. How many values we have? So once I include both the values, take the difference. What is the difference here? So 243 to 748, right? That should be 585. So 585 plus 1 because I have to add both the values. That I have to include both the values, right? That is 586 values. So here at 586 values, I'll get what? Log of x base 3 should be 5 point something. 5 point something means exactly 5. That is an odd positive integer. Our requirement, right? So I'll take the value 5 here. I'll take the value 5. Okay. Similarly, now x moves to, uh, I uh, for understanding I'll write here, but, but I should not take that, right? It start from 729 to the next power of 3. So 3 power 7 is 2187, right? 3 power 7 is what? 2187. So, but I don't have to take this part, right? So 729 to 2186, I don't have to take this because at these values log of x base 3 will be equal to 6 point something. That means exactly 6. That is not our, our concern, right? Because I want only odd positive integers. So I'll move further on guys. And from, uh, I'll start from 2187 to next power of 3. So 2187 into 3 is 6561. Okay. But 6561 I can't take. My What is the limit? My limit is 4500 here. So till 4500. Okay, so 2187 to 4500. Again, what is the difference? Difference is 2313. Okay, so 2313, including both the values, should be 2314 values in total. Here, okay, so 2187 to 4500. 45 is inclusive here, that is equal to sign. That means 2314 values. What is What will happen here? So log of x base 3 will be actually 7 point something, which is actually 7. That means odd positive integer correct, right? So what are the total values of x, number of integral values of x? So total values of x we have is 586 plus 2314. That is equal to 2900. So 2900 is the answer for this question. Okay, good question, perfect cat level question. Okay. Uh, got to think on the spot for these questions, right? So it's a nice question actually. Okay. Now let's do one more question guys. Another good question actually. A uh, few questions because log is very important. I see a lot of questions log. And log mixed with some other concepts of algebra becomes good question, right? Question of log with some other concepts of algebra. Fine. For example, uh, look at this question guys. Again, the question says that Fn is equal to n raised to log of 37 base 24 okay and uh, we have to find the remainder find the remainder when f2 see let me write here find the remainder when f2 into f3 into f4 is square into f6 is divided by 13. I need to find the remainder here. Okay. Now see guys. So fn equal to n raised to list value. Okay. Find the remainder when fun. So basically if I try to if we try to put some values, okay, if I try to with checks check at certain values, right? So let me try to put the value of n as 2. So what is f2 here? So f2 will be equal to 2 raised to log of 37 base 24, correct? This is F2. What is F3? So F3 will be equal to uh, 3 raised to log of 37 base 24, log of 37 base 24. F4 will be equal to 4 raised to log of 
37 base 24 and f5 is equal to uh, 4 right 5 5 raised to log of 37 base 24 and to multiply the, all this with a square here right so that means what value I'll, I'll get I'll be getting here the powers are all same so I know that a raised to x into b raised to x into c raised to x is equal to a b raised a b c raised to x so all powers are same here right so as I multiply it so what I actually get so simply this 4 is square will actually become 16 here that's all all the same no for example what I'm writing here let's say 2 raised to log of 37 base 24 into or in fact you can just assume because we have to write multiple times you just assume that log 37 base 24 is equal to some t i'll assume that log of 37 base 24 is equal to t so what i'll get here i'll get that 2 raised to uh, t into 3 raised to t into 4 is square it is so 16 raised to t into 5 raised to t this actually becomes uh, 2 3 6 uh, 6 into 16 is 96 okay so basically 2 3 6 into 96 into 5 okay uh, any mistake what i've done sorry f6 is here right it's just f6 here f6 okay replace all by 6 6 6 6 okay so value will become 2 into 3 6 into 16 96 into 6 576 it's all it becomes 576 raised to t once you replace this value actually you'll see that it becomes uh, 576 raised to log of 37 base 24 correct now what is 576 i know it is what it is 24 is square so 24 is square log of 37 base 24 now this 2 will come here that becomes 24 raised to log of 37 is square base 24 and i know this property of log guys okay a raised to log of b base a is equal to actually b correct because i can just replace this a and b no okay so basically uh in that case what is this what is this actually this becomes 20 this is e equal to 37 is square ah that is equal to 1369 so what is my question here what is the remainder when 37 is square divided by 13 what is the remainder here okay that remainder I can actually get by simply seeing that 37 into 37 divided by 13 what is the remainder here minus 2 into minus 2 because 13 3 or 39 or the remainder minus 2 so what is the answer answer is 4 so 4 is the answer for this question okay so again very nice question guys few uh, good concepts involved here in this question okay so basically uh, this is the way we should proceed with this question actually fine so the properties of log properties of functions okay so basically log is a very good concept in algebra it can be multiple it can be uh, uh, coupled with some very good concepts of algebra maybe uh, uh, functions or indices thirds or uh, quadratic equation or cubic equation anything right so basically you have to be thorough with these concepts actually these are perfect cat level questions to give you a good insight about the good concepts okay of of algebra okay and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so the easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like we, uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from CAT so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually the, those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay 
so rank one to three one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you